Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. ice cream with a peach on the side because I'm feeling very Caucasian which is why it's in a wine glass now this conspiracy has been long overdue a lot of people have been requesting me do this shit a lot of you have been saying Troy you gotta you gotta come for that fat back computer shaped ass bitch ain't nobody coming for her you gotta drag this bitch and can, can y'all believe this bitch has a YouTube channel <clears throat> just keep swimming 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 like what in the hell I, I just had to make this video because I asked you guys on Snapchat and Instagram, what conspiracy y'all want to see? And the most votes I saw were Ace Family Update, CJ So Cool, I'm Just Airy. <laughs> and the most voted one was the fat back computer shaked ass bitch. So I decided to do this video only because I don't have shit else to do and I'm bored as fuck. So why not? I mean, I don't have shit else to do. But anyways, I thought about doing the conspiracy theory on CJ So Cool's fake ass proposal, his gold digging bitch wife royalty. I also thought about doing the Ace Family and how they lied about buying their mansion and they actually really leased it with receipts. I also thought about talking about Damo and Chrissy. So long story short, a lot of you guys really requested me to do a, the fat back and pretty shaped ass bitch, Janae the Scammer, aka the Mona Scott of YouTube, only because this bitch is involved with everybody a part of the Fod family. Funny Mike, Peasant and Rubber Ducky, Dreadful Laughs, Arm and Hammer, and Cafeteria Tray. Since she's a big part of the Fraud family, I thought it'd be only right if I dragged the shit out of this bitch and explain and break everything down for you guys that nobody talks about slash nobody notices about her. The conspiracy theory I'm gonna get into is a fat back computer shaped ass bitch flying me out. Where's my ticket? What's it gonna be? Is this bitch gonna fly me out so I can interview them, so I can cast the asses outside and I can ask them these questions that I have in fucking person? Thanks for you. Also, Troy TV, I see that 57,000. I can get you to 100,000. Hey, no, 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 no. I am willing to pay for airline tickets, hotel rooms, airline tickets for y'all three. Bad Dante, Bad. Troy TV, so rage. Your rage. Your rage. To come have a seat. Any questions that you have? Any questions that you have, we will answer them. And the thing of it is, most importantly, all jokes aside, I am somebody's mother. Watch your mouth. Shut up before I get on your life. You don't want me to hurt your feelings, little mustard, do you? Little stankin' coochie self. Little mayo coochie ass. You mad. No, nah, you mad, nigga, looking like a power puff girl, looking like a dirty ass Cheerio. Look like you being left out in the goddamn refrigerator. Dirty ass. Looking like a pistol grip, long ass chin. Well, I'm getting money. Well, I'm getting money, though. Shut your dirty ass up, you broke. You a broke boy. You have no money. You have no coins. Like I was saying, listen, stop interrupting me, talking to my, my squad right now. What's on my wrist? Oh, a little Louie. Hold on. That watch from me. This is not a watch. This is an accessory, baby girl. Look, bro, people don't even know what it is. Look. Hold on, hold I'm on. I'm to look at you. Hold on. What's that, y'all? Say that's that Louie, 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 Louie. Now, let me explain to you guys this. The bitch did not reach out to me because she's a fucking lame ass motherfucker. So is DMB Nation, Kristen Queen, all of them. They're all lame as fuck, and they didn't want to reach out to me. Or fly me, I'm Dante, or your rage out because they don't want no smoke at all. 
They don't want us to come over there and say how we feel. They don't want us to come over there and expose them and address them. Because there's so many receipts exposing every single one of them. M and Vaughn. But Vaughn cheating on M. DMB Nation faking breakups. Um, not being pregnant. Crispy and cream. Fucking faking their whole publicity stuff just to get more followers. Like, there's so much shit that we can say. And all this shit is set up because of this bitch. This bitch right here. It's about 11 o'clock at night. I had to slap on my good wig so I can come on. And no makeup, pimples everywhere. Because, you know, I got to point out the flaws. Because y'all be all on it. Time out, I'm a big girl. I got eight kids. So, yes, I am thick delicious. But, anywho, with all that being said, my disclaimer. Let me tell you guys what I would have asked her had she flown me out. Because she just, she's not gonna fly me out. Like, of all people, she's not gonna fly me out. Now, let me explain why. For one, the bitch deleted the video. Two, the bitch doesn't want no smoke, like I said. Three, she doesn't want to fly me out because she knows there are so many receipts exposing these people, and there's no point of them trying to come up with some receipts, if there's receipts dismissing their receipts. So, the Tyrannosaurus Rex built ass bitch is not going to fly me out for those of you guys who keep asking. So, please stop commenting that because I literally answer that question every fucking day. No, she's not flying me out. She's never going to fly me out and she's never, ever going to own up to shit. And at this point, I feel like the manager should just say this. Okay, it's all for entertainment. We lied. <laughs> like, I think she should say that. Like, be real. Like, if you're real and you say how the fuck it is, there's no reason for people to disrespect you. Like, there's no substitute for the truth. Either it is or it isn't. Just say the truth. Just say what it is. Just say it's all for entertainment. At this point, just say we're staging all this shit. All this shit is fake. We do it to entertain you guys. We, just, we do this to make you guys laugh. And all of this shit, 95% of it ain't fucking real. Just be real and then... Just be real, bitch. I for damn sure I'm going to tell you guys what question I would have asked. Had I been there, I would have been like, so, <laughs> Vaughn, I've seen you've been in everybody's DMs. <laughs> oh, Chris, uh, I heard you were fucking with a transgender. Oh, um, Amy and Bikaka, uh, <laughs> is it too late to sign up for DMB University? I would have been dragging the shit out of their asses. I would have been coming for them left to right. And I think they would have been screaming. They would have been going off. Because I feel like, had I went, I was a little bit nervous if they were going to fly me out. Because don't get me wrong. I would have went and had they agreed to fly me out. But I would have bought somebody with me. I would have bought, like, three people with me. Like, because I know somebody who lives in Houston. Like, I would have bought Tyler Little Duff with me. I would have bought, like... I would have bought other people, like supporters who wanted to see it up front with me because I feel like had I been there and had I done an interview with them, they would have edited me out, they would have made me look stupid, they would have tried to flip things around, they would have th threw money at me, they would have suspected me, they would have done a whole bunch of shit because, I mean, if they, like, I feel like them, of all people, they would have thrown money at me and my ass would have been like... That I just, that's what I would have done because I feel like of all people, DMB Nation do the most and I think they would have done like what they can to entertain their following because why the fuck would they want me to interview them and make them look stupid with my receipts, my and Lewis receipts, all these receipts that are on social media exposing their asses. Why? Why, bitch? Why? Why would y'all want a people of all people? Like, why? Why? Like, like this bitch talking about something, she gonna fly me out. I'm willing to pay for airline tickets, hotel rooms. Bitch, you was living in a hotel room too. So what the fuck? Like, were you gonna have me right next to you, next door? Like, bitch, the fuck? Bitch, bitch you, got your, you got your damn clients buying you houses and shit. Like, how the fuck was you gonna help me get my money up, bitch? She's talking about some, oh, if I join the team and I ask some interview questions, blah, blah, blah. I, she can get me to 100K, a whole bunch of bullshit. And it's like, bitch, the invitation want to be over here talking about some get your money up, bitch. Tell the manager to get her house up. Get your wig up. Fuck out of here. So had, they, had me pull up, I feel like this is what they would have done. I feel like they would have flown me out, and I feel like they would have been petty as fuck, and I feel like they would have, they would have pay for my flight back. I thought about, like, like a lot of people telling me this. So I'm like, mm -hmm. I thought about, like, hey, like, if they fly me out, I would have just pull up to the airport, call an Uber so they don't fucking wait for me, dip out that shit, and enjoy Houston. <laughs> like, like, thank for the free trip to Houston, bitch. Thanks for booking me a hotel. Like, I would have probably enjoyed Houston. But then again, 
Cloud is cloud. Like, if she was trying to give me some cloud and some attention and she was trying to help me, you know, expose them, I would have been down, straight up. And But she just has never reached out. Period. The conspiracy is that she's not managing Quay and Lala anymore. A lot of people think that she's not managing Quay and Lala anymore. Because, I mean, let's be real. She had Quay and Lala looking stupid as fuck because she was managing them and Quay and Lala got so much fucking hate to the point where, Quay, where, where Lala was fucking turning off the comments from her pranks. Like she was turning off the comments on Instagram where she would say, hey guys, go make sure you watch my prank, blah, blah, blah. She would turn off the comments because of so much negativity she was getting. Oh, yeah. Um, Me and Lala are new to the we're team. We're new to the team, okay? So, y'all coming to our comments trying to warn us and everything like that. We are very smart. We yeah. have a sense of discernment and everything yeah. like that. If we see something wrong, trust and believe, we're out of here. Until then, right. y'all can cut the comments because guess what? We all about that bag and we going to keep getting it, all so right? Much. Thank you. So have a good night. That's a long So, since she was getting so much negativity, Quay and Lala addressed it, and they were like, guys, best believe that, you know, we, we good over here, blase, blase, and if we see something that we don't like, we're gone, we're out. And I haven't seen Quay and Lala do a prank in a good fucking minute. They haven't been interacting with the fraud finally in a good as long minute. So my guess is they seen something that they didn't like, and they're, they dipped because they haven't fucked with or made videos with the fraud family. So... Uh, there's a conspiracy that Quay and Lala is not fucking with them no more, and I'm kind of hoping they don't because Lala and Quay are very talented Instagram comedians, and I don't really think that they should be fucking with this fat back and pretty shaped ass bitch because she gonna have them doing breakup pranks and all this extra bullshit. Because I mean, look at this shit. Look, look at this damn prank that the manager had Quay and Lala doing. What? what? Like you mean to tell me that Quay and Lala, like like Lala and Bianca, ran up in that shit? And didn't recognize Quay. What type of shit is that? Like, they didn't recognize that nigga with, with, with that ashy ass lipstick. You didn't recognize him, bitch? Come on now. Like, this bad bad computer shit, that bitch has gone too fucking far. So, obviously, Quay and Lala may not work with him no more. It's also a conspiracy that she's not managing Armand and Trey. Because, according to Armand and Trey, when they dissed the Taylor girls, they said, Oh, you guys never get information right. We're not managed by Janae, we're managed by Neo. Uh, yeah, I went on Neo's website and I didn't see them on Neo's roster. So since they weren't on Neo's roster, I assume that they probably made that shit up because I mean, I wouldn't put nothing past them. I mean, they, they, they lie about every motherfucking thing. Every fucking thing they do is fake. Like, prank this, prank that, you was relevant about a year ago. Bitch, posting five pranks a week. Like, what is this? Like, what is this? This is why, this is exactly why I don't watch people like that because they post all these damn pranks. And I honestly... Don't really understand why people watch this shit because it's kind of annoying and it's so fucking cringy because the shit that this manager is tolerating Armand and Trey doing. Hey, bro. bro, don't kiss that. Kiss this. Trey, Trey, uh -huh. Trey, go ahead, bro. Lick it, cuz. Oh my god. What type of shit is this? What type? What is this? Is this porn, bitch? No, this is this is fucking sexual assault, and I'm not okay with this. I don't I don't understand how, as a manager, fat back and pretty shape as a bitch. If you're watching this, as a manager, how do you have your clients making a fool of themselves like this and this and this? What? She got DB Nation looking irresponsible as fuck. She got DB Nation doing all this, these fuck ass videos, making them look like bad parents and shit, leaving their kids for a damn reality show and shit. And based off of the videos, DB Nation looked very fucking irresponsible to me. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if fucking DJ had bad credit already. And I wouldn't be surprised if baby Kyrie had five houses under his name. So. To be real with you guys, this manager has them looking stupid and is not checking them when they're doing stupid shit. Because as a manager, you have to stand by your client's side and say, you're not doing this. But this manager has them doing all this extra shit and is not telling them, hey, um, you can't do this. Because Armand and Trey doing shit like this, like this, this is not okay. Like this is not fucking okay. Because the fact that they're musicians and they want to make it big in the industry at the end of the day they can make a, a music video that gets a million views like that that's great but the shit that y'all do with pranks and making fun of real life problems like sexual assault by doing these fake ass fucking pranks what what does that say about your character you do realize once you reach mainstream 
people are gonna dig up shit out of your past. Like, it won't be me coming for you guys anymore. It'll be TMZ, it'll be The Shade Room, it'll be Baller Alert, it'll be Media Takeout, it'll be websites like Bossit.com. These people will be fucking coming for your neck. These people will be dragging you by your fucking your, your, your roots, bitch. They will be they will be ripping everything out. They'll be ripping every last piece of your edge out. Because the shit that y'all are doing on social media and then wanting to make it big, it's not worth it. Like, it's not worth it. Because the, all this shit you're doing could overshadow your music. So bitch, I'm in I'm on and check out watching this. Bitch, you're lucky you can sing. You're lucky you can sing. You're you're you're, you're not in Damien and Bikaka's position. You're not in fucking squeaker, the rubber ducky's position, you, you're good, you can sing, but a lot of shit that you're doing now can overshadow it. Janae has officially made all these people look like fucking fools, and at the end of the day, film is forever, film is forever, like, what you put on social media will follow you for the rest of your life, if you posted it, bitch, somebody be posted it, and downloaded it so most likely if you want to run away from something that you did in a prank even if you delete it years from now it'll still follow you because it's not okay to just do some things and then assume oh, okay you know a million views is worth it like no like this shit is going to follow you forever so always be careful what you post on social media kids and looking at these people has taught me a lot about myself as a creator and as a person and as a black person because seeing black people win I would love to see black people win but in a positive good way you know it's, it's kind of sad to see how black people who are winning making all these all this money and oh, claiming to be making all this money doing all this fuck ass shit flexing flaunting being disrespectful thinking oh okay i i made this much money on youtube so i think i can talk any kind of way i want no bitch just because you have money that doesn't mean you could be a fucking bitch okay that's all i gotta say one of the conspiracy we have is dmb nation did not buy their manager a house there has kind of been receipts but i'm a little iffy about the receipts but then i'm a little bit iffy about dmb nation statement because all to y'all shade posted a video showing that DMB Nation most likely didn't buy their manager a house and it was all a setup. Because I had seen the video. I seen the video. And I seen the recommended to me. I clicked it and as soon as the video popped up, I was like, oh my god, this fat back and pretty shape that has bitches keep finding her way in my neck and neck bits. Oh my god. Are you happy? I am super pretty, super tight. Hercules, Hercules, yeah. Hercules! How can I escape this bitch? Oh my god. How? This bitch is everywhere. So let me tell you something. This was my first time seeing the manager. I have special guests. Introduce yourselves. Janae. Yeah, nigga. Don't do anything, 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 nigga. But DMV Nation's house seemed to be up and running pretty fine. Chris and Green's house seemed to be up and running fine. But that wasn't all of Houston who suffered badly from Hurricane Harvey. Now, some people in Houston had houses that still stood still. But the thing about the whole manager being bought a house, it's kind of iffy because it's like, everything doesn't make any fucking sense. Because if you listen closer to the video, Damien said, house. And we basically told Janae that we was gonna get my mom a house, you know what I'm saying? Here, yeah. To move her down here. But we lied to Janae, you know, the house is not for my mom. My mom got a house already. You know, we, we taking our manager out, you know, to get a house. You know, we telling her, you know, that, you know, we're, you know, we're house shopping, but, you know, we just want her to come. What type of shit is that? Why the fuck would I want to come with your ass, bitch, when I just fucking lost my fucking house? What makes you think I wanted to go house shopping with you if I lost my fucking house? That's like somebody saying, oh yeah, you ain't got no fucking groceries in your fridge, but I want to fill up my fridge, let's go. Like, what? Like, no, that doesn't make any sense. Like, you're, you're asking your manager to come with you to do house shopping, and she don't even got nowhere to fucking stay, and she's apparently living in a hotel. She was apparently living in an Airbnb. For, an Airbnb, for those y'all guys who don't know, is basically when you could rent out a resort, or you could rent out a, a house or a hotel room for a decent price for a few days, basically. So, according to DNB Nation, they said that the manager was staying in an Airbnb, according to this statement right here. Thank <laughs> you.
What's up, y'all? It's your man D Rob. This is us family. And I'm just making this little short video to let y'all know that everything is good with us. You know, we had the power go out for a little bit. And they're like, oh, I'll tell y'all shit. Y'all just jealous. Da da da. Like, y'all just mad because y'all can't live in a mansion like us. And I'm just like, bitch, you live in a house, okay? And your bitch can't even cook. We got some, what's some rib tips? Ribs. Ham. Mashed potatoes. That Bianca messed up. That Bianca messed up. <laughs> then we got some, I don't even know what that is. What? That's greens. Greens? Yeah. All right, then we got some macaroni and cheese that look super good. Scrumptious. Candy yams. Stuffing. And... Green berry casserole. Uh, green bee casserole. Yeah. We got some mouse and rat food. <laughs> that's and all the food we got. Yeah, that's all the food we got. The next conspiracy we all have is why did Janae, why did the fat back computer shake ass bitch try to do all this stuff with the whole hacking thing, the demonization breakup thing? Why did she do this to try to cover up her tracks? Why? What was the point of this? How did she try to cover it up? And what are the things that we don't notice? See, there's a lot of things that you guys don't notice about the hacker. There's a lot of things that you guys probably didn't peep and realize when it came to DMB Nation getting exposed, DMB Nation posting, you know, their brother dying and the manager claiming that she wasn't a hacker. There's a lot of things that you guys don't notice. Now, the first thing that you guys probably didn't notice is this. First off, this all started with Bianca's, with, with Bikaka's video. Because of his dick. That's why I'm with Damien. Because of his dick size. Like... Ain't, ain't no, ain't no fright, and ain't no holding back, nothing. Not. No. So you little bitches trying to mess with him, he's not going, y'all can't have him, okay? Yeah, that video to this day still makes me cringe. And she has the nerve to say, so all y'all bitches need to back up away from Damien because y'all can't have him. Bitch, okay, uh, according to Bianca, Damien doesn't like black girls. I didn't know Damien liked black girls. I didn't know Damien liked black girls. I didn't know Damien liked black girls. So, most of y'all followers is black. So I'm pretty sure none of them hoes watching your videos want Damien. No, um, yeah. Bianca, don't nobody want Damien, so shut the fuck up, okay? So she makes a story time, then Damien confronts her. I don't want to be with you, Damien. All okay? I do, I should try to create opportunities. I do not want to be with you anymore. Can I talk? No, there's no fucking- I, So after that, there's more videos that lead up to all of this because Bianca posted that story time. Bro, gave me something that the other girl couldn't. And when I came across Bianca, right? Also see other comments, like hate comments to where you guys are like, you know, throwing trash at me and calling me a gold digger and- No, I don't, no, no, no. You can have Dude. Talk, okay? Yo. You got me fucked up. After all those videos, I later unsubscribed. I gravitated away from their content. And I was like, oh no, unsubscribe, bitch. Unsubscribe, what is all this? So, so Bianca made that story time that led to Damien confronting her. And then that led to the whole breakup thing and Damien being a little bitch and all this extra shit that did not need to fucking happen. And I'm just over here like, why? Like, why did all this happen? Because Bianca uploaded a damn story time. What? And you can tell when Bianca's being a fucking ungenuine ass bitch. Like, it's so damn obvious. So, after all that happened, I can get past the whole breakup situation. That rubbed me the wrong way, and I stopped watching them after that. But then they start to go on and on with it. Like, Bianca starts uploading videos by herself, claiming that she's tired of cameras, but this bitch left the house with a camera, and she posted a fucking sappy ass video with a fucking corny ass intro. What the fuck is this? Bitch, bye. She has, people, she has the nerves to think people have sympathy for her ass. What? No. Because at that point, people thought it was real. The whole breakup thing, people thought it was real. People thought that shit was real. But then it escalated and then it turned into them getting back together. Them sitting down and doing a conclusion. And I was like, oh, okay, bitch. 
The manager is over here counseling y'all, like as if she's Oprah or some shit. Her fat back and pretty shaped ass. She's mad. She's she's managing y'all. She's fucking counseling y'all. Okay, that doesn't make no sense. And then they, I don't know, would come out with the reality show idea, and it's like, oh, okay, so. You were tired of cameras at first, and now you want 24 hours of cameras? Okay. So then, the whole situation with the wedding thing happened. And it was like, oh, okay. You want to try to trick us again, bitch. So, my ass had to unsubscribe. And the funny thing was, I was already unsubscribed. So my ass subscribed again just to fucking unsubscribe. Because they was fucking annoying the shit out of me with this bullshit. And the thing about the wedding is, a lot of people didn't realize this, but if you listen closely to when Damien's dad crashed the wedding, you can clearly hear a bitch in the background saying this. Excuse me. Damien, you're not finna do this, are you? I'm sorry? Yeah. You're not finna really do this, are you? Yes, yes? we are. You no, can go back not. and say that. Yes, no. we are. Some bitch in the background is literally saying, is this prank? Shh. What the fuck? So obviously, y'all need to work on, y'all just need to work on fucking, like, if y'all gonna fake shit and lie and stage and be fake, at least do it right. Fire that manager bitch y'all got going, like, fire her ass. She must be fired. Damn, people got a fucking petition to get Chris and Queen off YouTube. They need to fucking get that fat back and put shit that bitch off YouTube. She gotta go. She needs to go. She's canceled. Get this bitch the fuck out of here. Oh my God, I'm tired of her. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. I just can't stand that bitch. It just really sickens me how she kept dragging this shit. And then the wedding thing looks so fucking scripted and staged because as you can see, you got fucking Bianca wearing this fucking moo moo dress. The fuck? This bitch got on a fucking moo moo. What the fuck, bitch? You getting married in a house dress, a grandma dress, bitch? Damien looking like he about to go to a fucking family cookout and shit. And none of their loved ones are there. As you can see in their baby shower video, the baby shower was more glamorous than this bullshit. First of all, why the hell does this look like they're getting fucking married in a damn Chuck E. Cheese? Why the fuck does this look like they're getting married in a damn Chuck E. Cheese basement? What type of shit is this? What is this? What what is this? This ain't no wedding, bitch. This is a fucking this is this is a fucking kids bop party. Why the fuck is the baby shower more glamorous than your own damn wedding? So clearly, since most of y'all loved ones aren't even there and all the chairs aren't even filled. Clearly this is fake as fuck. So, I don't even need to go in on that. Y'all can clearly tell this was fake as fuck and then Damien's dad later apologized and I was like, what the fuck? No disrespect. I apologize to everybody. I respect me, Bianca, especially. I know that you probably want to speak to me again, Charles. I mean, you know, I apologize to cool. Bitch! Bitch! Subscribe again and unsubscribe just to fucking unsubscribe, bitch. What? No. Y'all got me fucked up with all this bullshit. And what a lot of you guys didn't notice is the people that were involved in all this were Em and Vaughn, I'm just Ari, aka Fatback Computer Shaped Ass Bitch Jr., the Fatback Computer Shaped Ass Bitch, and yeah, that's about it. They were all involved in this bullshit because if you guys think about it, Em and Vaughn were posting videos back to back to back to back to back to back. Reacting to this whole DMV Nation nonsense so quick to the point where they were getting the most views and they were the first ones to be on it and react to it and I can tell because it just has me like wait 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 just posted this video like 20 minutes ago and then in five minutes y'all had this shit uploaded what the fuck y'all must have some crazy magic YouTube powers so obviously Em and Vaughn were in on this shit because. As you can see, when Dean Mission did a 2 million countdown, they were right there. Ah, so you're right there, bitch. I'm just Ari. Also, we acted to all this bullshit, dragged it, got her two cents in, trying to make herself relevant in all this. Um, what's up, guys? So, um... I finally was able to talk to Bianca, but what you guys may or may not know is um, 
We didn't become best friends overnight. But they since private those videos, so there's no use trying to look for them. If you notice in this two million countdown, the people who were heavily involved and consistent with making videos about the situation were. All these people in the room. So in a way, when Dean Nation was celebrating two million subscribers, everybody was celebrating their success. The manager was celebrating was celebrating the fact that she got some coins to buy herself a new wig. And the boss celebrated the fact that they were finally relevant. I'm just Aries celebrating the fact that she was allowed in the house because I mean you never see this bitch around. Then the hacker. Here goes the hacking situation. The hacking situation all started off like this. As you can see, the fat back computer shaked ass bitch decided to post a video saying this. Hey you guys, this is Janae from This Is Us and today I wanted to talk to you guys about something before it gets all blown out of perspective and everybody be talking junk. So, I wanted to tell you guys about a situation revolving the babies, DNB Nation. Apparently yesterday the video with the car was uploaded and then it was taken down within an hour about them giving away a car for those of you that didn't catch it. Um, Bianca's giving away her car. This particular video was a girl saying that she had Damien's baby or whatever. Do we believe it? Absolutely not. The problem with this though, and the reason why we're bringing it to you, is because she basically was trying to extort us and ask for some money. And we don't give into, you know, paying somebody, you know, for information. So never is we gonna do that. So anybody that's thinking about it, don't even think about it. But she knew some personal stuff about Damien that she shouldn't have known. So it has us a little leery and they're not able to get into the their YouTube account right now but we're gonna fix that so this video is basically to let you know what's going on and don't fall for anything that's gonna be released from anybody talking about being an exchange baby mama that oh um guys the mission got hacked so if you guys see a video of um, a deranged baby mama a stereotypical um black baby mama um screaming and yelling and saying oh my god that's my baby that's my baby that's my baby. Blah, blah, blah. if you guys see that just know you know don't pay attention to it blah jay blah jay now, a few hours later, this video gets posted. Okay, so here I am. All right? So the manager, I just seen her little video talking about, oh, we're not going, bitch. Yes, the fuck you are. Okay? You got all that talking, talking all that shit, thinking that stuff is funny, and it's not. Okay? No. So, well, we gonna um, fix that. I took that video so, down because this video nobody gonna have that to let you You're know not about to give away. Now, if you guys pay attention closely, this video gets posted only because the manager made the, her video saying that somebody's gonna come forward and try to expose DMB Nation. Now I'm kind of confused because after that exposed video that was posted of DMB Nation, the manager lady came out and said this. Did you listen to the video? The girl sent me a video already. That video that y'all watched, I already had heard it. I already had heard it. And that's the reason why I went ahead and addressed it because she already said if we didn't give her what she wanted, which was money, and you still ain't getting it. And when we didn't give her the money, she said she was gonna drop the video. What we didn't know is that she was the one that had the account. that y'all saw I already had heard it okay this is your manager I already had heard it I already had heard it okay that's interesting bitch okay so since you already had heard it why did the hackers say this all right so the manager I just seen her little video talking about oh we're not going bitch yes the fuck you are so you mean to tell me the hacker made a response video to your video before you even posted your response video. I mean, she claims she already seen the clip, which is why she made her video try to warn us. But why did the hacker say that she was responding to your video, fat back computer shape ass bitch? Ah, fat back computer shape ass bitch ain't keeping up her tracks. Some people still to this day look at it like, uh, maybe it was real because why would they do all that shit? Get the fuck out of this video. Like, bitch, go away. I gotta throw shade at the Amdanze real quick. Amdanze likes to give this manager, this fat back computer shake that's bitch credit and say, oh my god, you know, she's doing her job correctly, even though she's a fucking fraud, she's doing her job correctly, she's helping them grow. True, but I have to agree, but then disagree, because yes, she's helping them grow, but she's making them look like fucking 
idiots with all this fake ass bullshit that she got them doing. After that video gets posted of her ranting and saying, oh, it's not me. How is it me? How is it me? They made it go live on the manager's YouTube channel to prove that the manager is not the hacker. Think about this, all you great detectives out there. If I was gonna do a video like that, why would I wanna sound like myself? I'ma sound like somebody else. The thing is, she tries to say, why well, don't I try to sound like myself? Why well, I try to sound like myself? I will try to sound like somebody else. First of all, bitch, it sounds similar to you. It means not exactly like you. It sounds like there was a filter and there was a, a sudden edit in your voice. But if you listen closely to the manager and the actor's voice, it sounds exactly the same. Notice the heavy breathing and the lisp. About them okay. giving away a car for those who didn't and catch I got it. His baby um, and Bianca's giving stomach. away her car. Okay, I and don't so care about Damien what and happened Bianca. with the video coming down? We're not sure, but we got no, a whole no. bunch of emails. That's Thank you guys man. for responding and so I've been quickly his about. Um, what the? Y'all don't hear this? She's over here like Damien is my man and. And then you got the manager sounding like this. Hey guys, it's Janae from This Is Us and I wanted, like bitch, get your inhaler or something. We can tell that you got the, the, the list, the, the, the list, talking with your tongue. Then you got the sudden heavy breathing. So we can tell it's her. It's clearly her. And then to make matters even worse, this bitch keeps speaking out. She keeps speaking out. You know, fun and stuff, but they showing us they real. We just got an exclusive. Ain't nobody about to take no chances with somebody acting a fool in the video being shoot. What, what meaning does your life have that you feel like you gotta constantly say something negative? Shut the fuck up and somebody take this bitch camera. See, things would've been all said in that. Cause when she made her first video giving her opinion about the DMV Nation breakup, people were on her side. People would say, wow, you're such a great manager. Thank you for keeping us posted. This video. X, Y, and Z. Now, do we know what X, Y, and Z is? Absolutely not. People were okay with that. But then she kept making another video, and another video, and another video, and it was like, oh my God, bitch, I would. The fact that she kept dragging this and making multiple videos, the wedding situation, trying to defend her case, and saying, guys, why would I do this? I like, bitch, stop defending yourself. You're making yourself look more guilty. Things up and to make it seem like she's innocent and all this is true. We all hear a different voice. And it's clearly, I'm just airy, the fat, black, and pretty shit that's bitch daughter. Nigga, I got two. Boom, nigga, what the motherfucking fuck? Education, nigga. The fuck is you? You not my motherfucking daddy. The hell? <laughs> Y'all so mad. It's clearly her. It's clearly her. Because you can clearly see the sudden... The sudden, you know, similarities in the the new hacker and her daughter's voice. It's so fucking similar. So y'all trying to play us. Okay. It sounded just like Bianca because you hear the constant N-word being thrown around. You hear, you hear the constant the fuck and the, the constant smacking of tongue and gum. Like you, you can tell it was probably Bianca or I, it was, it was the, probably the manager's daughter. Now it was clearly the manager's daughter because Bianca was in the same room as the hacker was on live stream. And the thing is that I noticed is, as Damien is on live stream, he's clearly trying to defend the manager and make it seem like it's not her at all. It makes absolutely no sense for me to have been the one to hack into the account. If you all look at the whole situation, when I dropped my video, this girl dropped her video. I'm at the house with them right now. It makes no sense whatsoever for me to have been the one to hack into the account. I didn't fuck that girl. I didn't fuck that girl, bro. Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, this girl live right now on our channel. She live right now on our channel. I don't understand, though. How, what's this over here? Is this her? This? Get the fuck off my channel, ho! Yes, motherfucker! I can motherfucking hear you! Why? You wanna go motherfucking live? This is my motherfucking channel now. What you gotta say now? Oh my god. Bro, get the fuck off my channel, bro. What the fuck do you want from me? Bitch, shut the fuck up or you get your ass beat. I'll find out who the fuck you are. What the fuck? Got me fucked up, bitch. What this bitch say? Take care of the kids. Care of kids. Yeah. Nigga, my kids is taking care of. You know that fuck, bitch. Show your face, ho. Show your face, ho. The fuck? I do take care of the kids. Bitch, shut the fuck up. 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 Bitch, shut the fuck up.
take care of mine. The fuck, nigga? Show your face, how? Show your Bianca. Shut the fuck up, because we all know damn well that hacker could beat your ass through the screen. Okay? Shut the fuck up, Bianca. Nobody fucking likes you. Okay? Nobody fucking likes y'all. So calm the fuck down, bitch. Because at the at this point, black people, we don't claim you. Like the Asians can have you, the white people can have you, bitch. We don't want your ass, bitch. We don't want you because she's over here throwing out the N bomb. And bitch, I don't know how. And nigga, I don't know how I feel about Bianca throwing the N bomb because. Because I don't know how I feel about Bianca saying the f nigga. I don't know how I feel about Bianca saying nigga. Because at this point, Bianca been self-hating. Bianca been making it clear that she's not black. And Bianca, shut up, okay? Shut the fuck up, Bianca. We, 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 don't, we don't like you, okay? We don't fucking like you. We don't fucking like you. That's not my fucking baby, bro. You ugly! Bro, show your face, bitch. You sound ugly as fuck. You sound ugly. You sound like one of them black burn ass bitches, bro. You got me fucked up, bro. I'ma see you. I'ma slap the shit out you, nigga. You got me fucked up. I'ma send two million loyal subscribers at your ass to kill you, nigga. You mad as fuck, nigga. Nigga, your daddy should use the fucking counter on your dumb ass, bitch. Why do you niggas, bro? You niggas keep saying fake as fuck. Why the fuck are you here, nigga? Why the Fuck are you in my motherfucking stream right now? This shit fake. Why the fuck you here? Shut the fuck up! It was a good try, but the thing is, you can't fool us because it's, it's a whole new different voice. Now the thing is, the manager is over here like, like trying to be on the camera and shit. Get your fat back and pretty shit back off the fucking camera, bitch. We know you there. Like we saw your fat back and pretty shit back, bitch. All the way across the room, fuck, and then we know damn well all this shit is staged as fuck because she keep like, like she, she's forcing it, like she keeps trying to make herself look seen, like she's over here like, and then Damien's screaming in her ear at her daughter, and then she's like, bitch, I don't love you. I don't even know who the fuck you are. Fuck off my channel. Get out the camera, ho. We see you, bitch. <sighs> get out the camera. Get the fuck out the camera. We can clearly tell that you're in the video. We can clearly tell that you're trying to play us because one, it's a different voice, and two, your ass is steady dragging this shit, trying to make yourself look so innocent. But this would have never happened had your ass not ever been in their fucking video. You could have simply did this. You could have simply just disappeared, bitch. You could have simply not fucking been in the videos at all. None of this would have ever happened had you not tried to introduce yourself, try to promote your YouTube channel, and try to be seen. But your ass wanted followers. Your ass was addicted to the juice. You saw what DMV Nation was getting, and you thought, oh, you know, let me hop on this YouTube bandwagon too. And then come to find out, people hate this bitch. Because when I make videos talking shit about this bitch and dragging this bitch to mud and dust because she's fucking crumbs. People be like, oh yeah, I don't like you and I think you're a fucking faggot bitch, but I agree with you. People agree with me when I, when I come for this manager bitch, but when I come for DMB Nation or I come for Chris and Queen or when I come for the Ace Family, people steady want to come for me on some hate shit, but the manager, the manager, of course, can get all of it because nobody fucking likes her. And then when the 2 million subscriber countdown happened, look who's in the room. And I'm sorry this video has been so far all about DMB Nation, but... I just want to say that this manager is making some sh money because the thing about managers, managers be getting like what, 15% out of their client's check. So most likely this manager is making like a good, what, it's fucking probably six figure check a year, like probably more because this bitch got funny Mike, she got Chris and she got crispy and green or peasant and. And rubber ducky. She got gaming and bikaka, dick and balls nation. She got Emin Vaughn. And she has fucking dreadful laughs, pitiful laughs, little perfect, whatever the fuck her name is, the perfect man, perfect trash, perfect teeth, and Armand Hammer and Armin Hammer and Cafeteria Trey. She got all these people and she's getting a cut out of all their paychecks. And I find it funny how she she couldn't buy her own house. How the fuck they got more money than her? How the fuck were they able to, how the fuck was DMV Nation alone able to buy her house but she could even buy herself a house? What type of shit is that? And this bitch talking about something, she gonna fly me out and play with my plane tickets. If anything, if this bitch had flown me out to get a plane ticket, I would've probably been in what? Delta Airlines getting my ass beat and dragged.
dragged, and I probably would have would have would have been a would have been in a, in a two star motel listening to prostitutes fuck. I probably would have been in a prostitute motel because this bitch is petty and cheap as fuck like that, and she's made it clear. So this bitch obviously don't have more money than her clients. This bitch obviously set up this whole hacking thing up, and this whole hacking thing up was clearly a stunt to promote DMB University that they were working on for fucking months. Be what up, bitches? <laughs> you guys are wondering why you're looking at me? Because I hacked your boy's YouTube channel. I got him flipping the f out. Because out of nowhere, after all this hacking shit happens, we see these fucking white people on my screen. Why the fuck do I see all these white ass bitches on my fucking screen? I see this white, this white guy saying, I hack DMV Nation, I hack DMV Nation, I hack their shit. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Obviously, you guys want to make a hundred thousand a month just like us. That's why you're here. Stop flipping hamburgers, stop working at pizza joints, and come sign up for DMV University right now. Let's make <laughs> what type of shit is that? This white ass motherfucker on my this motherfucker on my fucking screen, bitch. What the fuck? You on my fucking screen? Oh hell no. What in the Mona Scott is going on here? Why are these people on my screen talking about millions of followers? Oh, let's pay $3,000. She's like, oh, I, oh, I would pay $3,000 for that shit. $3,000 teach me how to get a million subscribers. Ding we were literally trying to sell information that was completely free. It sucks because it's been proven that DMV Nation are not following through with DMV University. And I talked about my, that in my last conspiracy theory on them, which you should go watch, by the way. And it's 100% true that this manager clearly doesn't know what the fuck she's doing because everything she did was poorly planned. Let me tell you what she should have done. Let me give this bitch some advice. Let me tell you what she should have done. L listen close to that. I can appreciate that bitch because I know you watch my motherfucking videos because I know you've been watching um, Arm & Hammer Cafeteria Trade disrespect your fucking daughter, but I know you do watch my videos. Now, let me make this shit clear to you, bitch. Let me crisscross applesauce for your ass, bitch. This is what the fuck you should have done. You should have done this. You should have never shown your fucking face, and this is what you should have done. You should have let the Nation continue doing these fuck ass pranks. You should have got Queen record label meetings. You should have got Queen to grab onto this whole cheating scandal that probably was real because obviously Chris is a cheater and has been exposed for cheating. But obviously, the manager grabbed onto it and treated it like, oh shit, um, let's turn this into a big deal. So she turned a small situation, made Chris and Queen give it attention and clout, flipped it around, and it turned into them getting millions of more views and hundreds of thousands of followers overnight. This manager could have used all these publicity stunts to help them be further in their careers, get them an acting job, get them opportunities to be on TV, like get them a real fucking reality show. Not this caca ass bullshit you had them doing, wasting their times and shit. And obviously she, she she's not releasing the reality shows no more because ain't nobody fucking feeling that shit and nobody likes the shit. So clearly this manager has no idea what she's doing. I think she simply should have just never showed her face. I think this bitch needs to leave the business. I think she needs to quit what the fuck she's doing. This bitch is lame as fuck and because of her, these motherfuckers may never get further than YouTube because of the simple fact that these people are damaging their images simply for a check. For a check. For clout. Like I always say, bruh, clout is the new crack. Everybody wants a piece of it. Everybody wants some way to get their hands on it. Everybody wants clout. Nowadays, clout is the new currency. Attention on social media, bitch, you pop in. Like, nowadays, fuck being smart. Fuck having connections, bitch. You got millions of followers, you popping. <sighs> I'm just very disappointed in DMB Nation and Chris and Queen and everybody who was involved with this bitch, like Perfect Dreadful Labs, Arm & Hammer, Cafeteria Trade. Because there was a point when I really did like all these people and I really thought these people had potential to make it and to go somewhere, but they continue to listen to this fat back rhinoceros built ass bitch. And look where it got him. I mean, yeah, you gained a lot of followers, but I want to see where y'all going to be five years from now. Like, will y'all still be doing these fake-ass pranks? Because, I mean, eventually these kids that are watching y'all shit will get older. And the next generation of children will probably not even care for pranks. I mean, I want to see where y'all going to be at five years from now. Because think about the YouTubers that have been around five years ago. 
who were doing pranks like y'all, Steve and Joe, Vitaly, the people who were doing those um, gold digger pranks, they've been exposed. That shit is dried out and dead for them, and eventually it'll be for y'all too if y'all don't do something. Like, if y'all come do these fuck ass pranks, at least try to flip it into a television career. Try to do more television work. What is with all this fuck ass bullshit? Like, there's no more interesting content on YouTube no more. Nobody wants to post anything interesting. Everybody's doing the same ass fuck shit. Dreadful ass up in these, uploading these fucking stupid ass, repetitive ass pranks. And I'm not gonna lie, these people. These people can possibly go somewhere in the entertainment industry, but this fat black computer shaped ass bitch. She gotta go. Like, y'all gotta fuck this bitch out of here, cause she's she, she stupid, okay? She do the fucking most. But that was that for this video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me who I should talk shit about. I mean, do a conspiracy theory on next. And please be sure to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and let me know who you wanna do a conspiracy theory on next. If I don't see your in, in Instagram DM or Twitter DM or Snap, please be sure to tweet me, cause I'm most likely to see it there. And yeah, that's that. Like, comment, and subscribe. Choice out this bitch. I don't like to talk, but I love to sing And I don't smoke, but I love to drink I'm paranoid, I don't miss a thing But I'm still